a what's going on inside here. So in this video, I want to show you how you can use up in Monk to uh, create an Ixi pop-up or a pop-up on your blog. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the dashboard. Then you can go here to create your first campaign, right? So you click on here. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to select a template for your blog. So for example, uh, you can do this one or another one. Like, so for example, uh, we are going to choose uh, maybe, uh, let me see, maybe this one. So then you can preview it, right? You can see, okay, what does it look like on desktop? What does it look like on mobile? And you can see the thank you page, right? Then you can click on create campaign. Then you can type in the domain of the campaign. Just enter, then we'll click on next. Then what you want to do is want to edit uh, the pop-up. So you can say, hey, do you want to learn how to sell on Amazon? Click the link. So after everything is set, you just click on next or save, right? Then you click on next. Then we can decide when and where this pop-up can show up, right? So uh, if you click on there, um, you can decide this to be a desktop only or a mobile only, or you can choose both. Then you click on save. Also, you can add more triggers so that it will show on different time, right? So maybe uh, you want a welcome pop-up so you can say, okay, I want to pop up show um after uh zero seconds, right? So that's right now you have another pop up. Then you can go to um select the who, right? So um you can choose the frequency and also you can add a condition like how much time they spend on the pages or how much time they spend on the site, right? Or if they should be a returning visitor or a new visitor or um, the source, right? So there's so many things you can do. Then you can go uh, to add your integration that like if you want to integrate with Google or if you have some like autoresponder and if you have a like up in form on your uh, pop-up, you can integrate with your autoresponder as well. Then after everything is set, you click on next. Then you can go to home and to click on insert code. Then you can uh, go to WordPress to download the plugin and uh, install this to your WordPress site. So right now, let's just download this plugin. So we download it. Then we go to our WordPress site. We go to plugin and we go to add new. Then all we need to do is upload this plugin. Then we install. So after you install a plugin, you just go to appearance and you go to Abby Monk and you go to type into your account ID. Then you save changes. So before you start testing your pages, uh, be sure you have to turn on um, the campaign. Right, so you go to the campaign and then you turn it on. And you also want to clear the cache. So for example, like this. So as you can see, when I try to leave the page, there's an exit pop-up here. So that is how you can use exit pop-up on your site. So if you don't like that version, you can go to create a new campaign. And this time you try to use a different design. For example, uh, we use maybe this one. So we click on select. Then we can preview it again. Desktop and mobile. Then we cre create campaign. Then we type in our website. Then we can change our text here. 
then you can change the size of the font. And you can oh, even change the color of um, the button as well. Right, so this is a hover cover, and I also want to change um, this color, the background color as well. Then you can go to thank you. So this is thank you, right? But you can choose to not to go to thank you page. So you can change to that um, on click you can go to uh, redirect. So then you can choose to go to your thank you page. So, so you type in your thank you page, right? And then you can click on save. Then you click on next. Then you can add more triggers, right? So you can decide if you want to show um, a mobile or a desktop or both. And you can add more triggers, like if they want to show up after X second or after X percent was scrolled, then you can choose um, the audience who are going to see this and how frequent people are going to see it. And if they spend on the page for X seconds, maybe they will see this pop up or maybe they spend on the site for X second, right? So you can um, decide so many things if they are returning visitors or new visitors or what a source they're coming from, are they from Google or from Facebook or what countries, right? Then you can click on um, add integration. So you can integrate with your autoresponder like active campaign. So all you have to do is type in your API key and API URL here. Then after people sign up here, they will be added to your list automatically. Then you click on next. Then after everything is set, you just go to turn on this campaign. Then you go back to your site and to clear the cache. Then you can reload the page. So you can see when we try to leave the page, there's a new exit pop up here. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you soon in the next one.